guys, so today is gonna to be a really quick guide on how to install Ubuntu LTS onto any PC or computer. All you'll need is a USB drive that has 16 gigabytes or greater of storage capacity. 3.0 is preferred but not required. 3.0 is just a lot faster than 2.0 or below. You'll also need the computer, or in my case, the SSD that you want to install the operating system onto. Now the first thing that we need to do is take our USB drive and plug it right into our current primary workstation. There we go. Now, as you can see, we're inside the computer. The USB drive has been inserted. Uh, so there's two pieces of software we'll need to download, both the Ubuntu LTS desktop download, as well as Belena Etcher. Belena Etcher is gonna be the agent that we use to flash the USB with the install agent. And then once the install agent is flashed on the USB, we can then use that USB to flash whatever drives we want with the operating system. So let's get started. I have already downloaded Belena Etcher. I already have my version of it right here. So we're gonna open it right up. And now we need to install or download Ubuntu. See, it's gonna take a few minutes to download. Okay, now Ubuntu has finished downloading. So we're in Etcher now, and we need to click Flash from File. We're gonna find the file that we just downloaded, open it up, and then it's gonna to default to our USB drive. So that's perfect. And then we just click Flash. All right, guys, you can see that this Flash is just finishing up here. All right, and now we're going to take our USB out of the computer. Now that the USB is flashed with the Ubuntu install agent, we can just go ahead and remove it. And this USB is ready to install Ubuntu LTS onto any computer or SSD. Now in my case, I wanna leave Windows 10 on this primary boot drive, which is that PNY one terabyte drive right there, but I have this 120 gigabyte SSD that I want to install LTS onto. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to shut down the computer, and once it's completely shut down, we're going to remove that uh, SATA cable from the primary boot drive and we're gonna plug it into the secondary drive there. Okay, now you guys can see that with the primary boot drive, I have removed the SATA cable and I've instead plugged it into this new SSD and then it's also powered with a cable from my power supply. So at this point, we are going to reinsert the USB and boot the computer right up. So it's gonna show this screen for a few minutes and then it's gonna boot directly into the install agent. All right, now you guys can see that the install agent has booted. So instead of clicking try Ubuntu, we want to install Ubuntu. Click your language of choice. Now these are all optional. I usually go for the minimal installation. And I always install the third-party graphics software and for Wi-Fi hardware as well, because if you don't install this, then you're not gonna be able to have Wi-Fi connect to your PC. You'll have to have an ethernet cable. So if you wanna run your computer off Wi-Fi, uh, definitely click to install the third-party Wi-Fi hardware. Okay, now here I always click erase disk and install Ubuntu. And this is part of the reason why I always unplug my other boot drives just to make sure that I'm not gonna overwrite any of my data. Click continue here. Here you're just gonna name your computer, so I'm gonna type in test007, pick whatever password you want. I always select login automatically and I never use Active Directory, so. And we click continue here and it will start the install process. All right, so now that the installation is complete, we just need to restart our computer. And when we restart, it's gonna ask us to remove the install medium and then press enter. So what that means is we need to remove this USB here. This is our install medium. So now that we've removed the USB, we can go ahead and click enter and see what happens. And as you can see, we have successfully booted Ubuntu LTS. These are just some steps that you can skip for the most part and your fresh install is good to go. If you enjoy my content, please consider delegating to my stake pool at mainblockchain.com. Expected returns are 5% annually and you'll earn additional governance tokens through staking with us. Learn more by clicking the link in the description box below.